everyone and welcome back to our Resurrection Tales. We're still in John chapter 21 and we've just had an extended fishing lesson from Jesus. We are now on the beach with him by the Sea of Galilee with those seven apostles who were out on the fishing expedition with him barbecuing the fish on the beach. And while it might be the end of the fishing lesson, it's not the end of the lesson. Because at this point, Jesus takes Peter aside. He had not finished with Peter. You see, Peter had truly messed up. Peter, we know in the Gospels, denied Jesus three times in the Garden of Gethsemane. Jesus had predicted it would happen, but nonetheless, Peter did it. He denied his Lord. And now is the opportunity to get it right. Jesus now asks him the same question, more or less, three times. He says, do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? I guess it's a question for each one of us. Do we love him? Love, as we know, does not count the cost. Love, as we know, is self-giving. Love, true love, as we know, is something for the person we love, not for us. Do we love Jesus? It's an incredibly important question. Because love is not there for what we can get out, for what we can put in. Love is not there because the person is handsome, or witty, um, or, or does all kinds of things for us. Love is because we wish to give. Love, in this way, is actually a gift of God. Peter, we are told, is hurt by the fact Jesus asks him the same question three times. And I wonder what we would have done in that situation. I know some people might well have just been so hurt they'd have flounced off. I'm not talking to him if he won't take my word for it. But this is Jesus and he has a purpose. Are we prepared to get over our hurt and listen to Jesus? Because Jesus is wise. Peter needed to be pressed for his own sake. Three times he had denied, now three times he can affirm that he loves Jesus. And it is necessary for the task ahead. Read the passage in John 21 and you'll see that he is called to follow, to be a disciple. He is called to feed the sheep, that is to say, to be a leader, to pastor. And he is called to die, to sacrifice. Peter needed that solid base to know that he really loved Jesus. Jesus had not given up on Peter, but Peter still needed to be guided. There may be some listening today who have messed up terribly, or indeed are messing up right now. Some who are even in rebellion against Jesus. Let me say, Jesus will not give up on you. Jesus is there for you. And if you just turn and return to him, he will make it so that you can come back fully, be restored and be part of him. He is there for each one of us, no matter what we do, because he loves us much more than we can ever love him. Let's pray. Father God, as we are tested by Jesus, help us not to be hurt or to reject, but to come back to him and to know the building up that he gives us in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh,